so we've got another example. A physician has order, ordered uh, acetaminophen, one gram, and then we've got these fun abbreviations, PO and then PRN. So we have to figure out what that means to understand what's going on. Um, on page 150 of your textbook, um, there is a little chart that tells you what all these abbreviations are. And if you look on there, you'll see PO is for orally and PRN is for as needed. So on an as needed basis. So a physician has ordered one gram um, orally on an as needed basis. Uh, however, we only have 250 milligram tablets on hand and we want to figure out how many tablets we should give. So we have to do a fun conversion. Um, so look for our conversion factor first. So what have we got? We got 250 milligram tablets. That means in each tablet there's 250 milligrams. So we can set up our conversion factor for that and think, thinking a little bit ahead, do we want the tablets on the top or the 250 milligrams. Well, what do we want to end up with? We want to end up with tablets. We're trying to figure out how much tablets. So that's what needs to be on top because you're going to want your milligrams to cancel out. So I've got one tablet has 250 milligrams. Okay. Um, and then we need one gram. So we're going to multiply that by what's been ordered, the one gram. All right. But notice something tricky here. Our milligrams and our grams, they don't cancel out like we want and leave us with just tablets. But can we change, convert our, our grams to milligrams? You bet. So if we want the grams to cancel out on the top, we need grams in the bottom and we know there are 1,000 milligrams per gram um, from our <coughs> section about the metric system. Okay, and so now we can have a canceling party. So we can cancel out the grams, we can cancel out the milligrams, and sure enough we're going to be left with just tablets. So now I need to do, right, I've got 1,000 left on the top, 250 left on the bottom, and I all the only units I have left is tablets. And so when you multiply 1,000, or excuse me, divide 1,000 by 250, you end up with just 4. So we end up with 4 tablets, and that's our answer. So that's all there is to it. So the tricky thing about this one was you if you get to a point where you're Units aren't going to cancel out and leave you with what you want. Either you've maybe inverted, right? You've got to flip your fraction um, for your conversion factor. Or you've got to do a little bit of uh, converting somewhere in there. So, so that's it. Four tablets is our answer.